hey guys so today i wanted to show you how to do some diy scrunchies and yes i know i'm late but i feel like no one has covered this technique so i wanted to show you guys a really easy way to make these at home that doesn't require a sewing machine so let's get started so all you want to do is grab some fabric of your choice this can be an old t-shirt a pair of jeans literally anything that you want i'm going to be using knits pretty much and i even have some spandex and some velvet so first you want to take your fabric and you want to cut it into a rectangle you can cut it into whatever size you want depending on how big or how small you want your scrunchie to be and then folding your fabric in half lengthwise you want to make sure that the right size of your fabric meaning the pattern that you want to be on the outside is actually on the inside of your fold then you want to lay down your bonding tape this is stitch witchery which is basically an iron-on fusion that allows you to marry your fabric together without actually sewing it this product is usually used for like hemming your skirt or pants or whatever and also sometimes applying trim so not intended to hold stitches together but it totally works so all you do is set this down on your seam allowance and i decided to cut mine in half so that it would only be a quarter inch that way it doesn't eat up too much of our fabric and we get a thicker scrunchie in the end if you're using a fabric like this knit where you can't really tell which side is which, just pick which one you like the most. But if you're using something like the velvet, then you'll definitely be able to tell which side is your wrong and right side. So for instance, if you're using a pattern, then of course your pattern is going to be the most brilliant and defined on one side, and then it's gonna be kind of dull and maybe even slightly different colors on the opposite side. And then to protect your fabric, you may wanna put on like a piece of muslin cloth if you have it, or old t-shirt, something that's thin and made of cotton pretty much. And then you want to iron over your fabric and in this case i'm using a steamer you do want to use the steam setting on your iron as well then when you're sure that you have a good bond you want to turn your fabric right side out and this part is pretty self-explanatory if you've ever had to roll open your socks then that's the exact same motion that you want to use to do this there is a product called a loop turner which you can use to do this and they are actually pretty inexpensive so you can get them for like a dollar a dollar fifty and make this process a whole lot faster if you're going to do a bunch of scrunchies and when you turn your fabric out you might notice that it looks a little bit wildly and that your fabric is kind of curling in on itself and just the seam isn't laying flat so i like to just roll it between my fingers until i've kind of defined where i want my seam allowance to lie because we do want the seam to be nice and clean so if you've ever sewed before you know that you always press open your seams but since we can't do that we're just going to lay it as flat as we possibly can and then steam over it again this is optional but it is going to make your end result look more polished and now we're going to move on to our elastic you could just use the ones that you buy in store but those are actually more expensive than just buying your own elastic by the yard so i bought two yards of this for literally 75 cents and I'm using this little tool, which I can't remember the name of it right now, so I'm gonna put it on the screen or in the description box. And I'm using this to feed my elastic through. It's pretty much the same concept as using a safety pin. So if you have a safety pin, go ahead and use that. And if you've ever cut elastic before, you know that it gets frayed and crazy. So an easy way to polish the ends is to just light them on fire, or you could also use a clear nail polish or a product called Fray Check, which is essentially just glue. And although this tutorial has been no sew up until this point, I do actually recommend that you hand sew the ends of your elastic together because this is what's gonna give you the strongest bond, meaning that when you actually go to put it into your hair, it's not gonna break easily. But if you do wanna keep this no sew, then you could just use like hot glue to make sure that you let it dry overnight. Now we just need to finish the opening of our tube. To do that, I'm gonna take one end and I'm gonna roll it in on itself so that I create a fold with a clean finish. Then I'm gonna add some more stitch witchery or bonding tape to the other side. And because I need to join these two together, I'm actually just going to quickly steam this on top of the fabric so that it sticks to it a little bit and doesn't move while I fit it into the other side of the tube. And then you guessed it, of course, we're gonna iron that down to actually fuse the two fabrics together. And by the way, guys, this is the result of actually using less fabric. So this one is 14 versus the final product, which was 22. So in a nutshell, you just wanna take the length of your elastic and then you want to double 
triple or quadruple it to make the length of the rectangle so the more gathers that you want in your scrunchie the longer you need to make your fabric and if you're watching today's video because you don't know how to sew then you might want to check out today's sponsor which is skillshare if you don't know they're an online platform where you can go to learn new skills so not only can you learn how to sew but you can move on to other categories that interest you too because they have thousands of classes on literally anything. Lately, I've been really enjoying learning how to use Procreate, which I've mentioned to you guys before. And in fact, the little animation that you saw is something that I picked up from this class, something that you may enjoy too if you also like to sketch or have the app yourself because you can use it on iPad and you can also use it on your phone. So if that is something that you guys are interested in and you wanna try it out, I actually have a link below in the description box that'll give you two months free. And then after that, it's less than like $10 a month, so not hard to maintain. And also let me know if you guys wanna see more scrunchies because I also really wanna make the ones that have like a scarf attached and different hair accessories because I'm pretty obsessed at the moment. So that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Please do give it a thumbs up because it really lets me know what you wanna see more of and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.